Hello friends, welcome back for yet another uh, Picture Chain Answers Your Question. So this week again, we gathered uh, several questions across different channels, uh, Twitter, Telegram mainly, I believe, and Reddit. So we have three selected ones. And the first one is from at John CSS, uh, I guess founder of design, just asking us, how does PixelChain plan to encourage companies, world token sales to integrate with the PixelChain wallet <laughs> and platform? So that's actually a very good question. The thing is that you have to understand that a lot of companies, especially in France, in the financial uh, spheres, they are very much interested and very much keen to work on blockchain because there's a lot of usage they can develop on that. But so far, from a technical point of view, they were using Ethereum uh, mainly, uh, also Hyperledger, I believe, a lot of them. Things were working great, but regarding the, the privacy uh, regulation, this was somehow an issue. So this is how we come handy to them, and this is so far how we got uh, the first contract and the first project running. It's because not only we have the technology, but we also ensure the, the, the full compliance with the regulation. And this is the, the first vector and the first driver out of it. Out of that, we have like several components, or I say development tool that helps and make things faster for them. And this is also something they are really looking for, something easy to integrate. They don't want something that is going to be huge in their infrastructure. They want something simple at first. And this is really where we have a, a, a real advantage and, and a real edge over, over the others. Okay, so next question. <laughs> Here it is. Um, it's a like reluctant. Uh, often you can see this question. It's about scalability. Uh, scalability is one of the defining issue facing blockchain today. How is picture picture chain going to handle scalability, and what are your solutions? So when you speak about scalability, it really makes sense when you speak about. I mean, you put in front of public blockchain. Bitcoin, Ethereum, yeah, for sure they have a problem of scalability because their consensus, the, the proof of work, uh, consume time to, to, to reach the consensus. And scalability, basically, it's a problem of time, consensus time, you know. And uh, uh, we pretty much avoid this issue. Over time, we still have it, but it's a way less impacting for us. Uh, at least it's not linear. And what we are also able to do is to create clusters, depending if you are a financial company, if you are a health company, we create sub-cluster or sub-network. So basically, we're able to divide the transaction and to have different channels of transaction processing. So doing such, we're able to have a much higher scalability than existing technology. And all this comes in one offer because we want to be compliant, we want to be scalable. So all these factors match together to, to bring like this channel, cluster channel uh, for different kind of data that we are processing in the chain. So at the end of the day, the scalability will be better uh, than what you can have in the current solutions. So using pixel chain, we can ensure a, a better scalability for, for business. And at the end of the day, of course, it's, it's a very important matter that they are looking to solve. So, yeah. That's a fail. You, my friend, have failed. Congratulations. It's the greatest thing that ever happened to you because it shows that you're alive, it shows that you did something, and it shows that you're growing stronger. Now go and fail again, bro. I hope I hope you guys that watch these videos, I hope you're gonna fail a thousand times. Keep going in, out there and failing. You know what that means? Every time you fail, it means to me. It tells me that you're doing something. Hi guys, it's me again. Uh, just a special format here, just to answer one quick question uh, that we got. It's, uh, it's, it's a very important question because we have a lot of concern about this. Um, so let me just give you um, the question. What happens in a situation where the data producer possesses, 
for this, a serious risk to society and the authority declare this individual wanted. Under special or mandatory request for the government, can Pixel Chain get access to this data? If Pixel Chain have access to this data, they do have the right to release the information to a third party, considering potential risk posed by the data production. That's a good question, but it's really fast to answer actually, in the mean that Pixel Chain doesn't hold any kind of data. Pixel Chain is just designed to hold certification of the data and the traceability of the data. But the data itself is not stored within the, the chain, which is actually a nonsense. You, you're not gonna use blockchain to, to store data, you know. Um, but what we can do with the Pixel Chain is to index nowhere is the actual data, but will not be the, the one that will govern the data. And here the question is more about who is the data governance or the data governor here. And the, this one will be actually the one facing the authority. So regarding this aspect will not much be in the loop. Uh, this is something so far we didn't have to face. So I will not answer with certainty. But what I can ensure from a technological perspective is that we don't hold any raw data. So will not be the one that will give access, uh, will be just the one to point where is the data, but at the end of the day, we are not the holder of the data. So this somehow the issue will be devoid directly to the, the data on it. So hopefully this answers the question. Uh, stay tuned again to have some more uh, feedback and more answers to your question in the next episode. Thank you. I'm not even mad. That's amazing. <laughs> See you next week.